Why couldn't Romans conquer Scotland? This is a fascinating story. Despite multiple attempts and invasions, the Romans could never manage to hold the lands north of Hadrian's Wall for more than a short period. In this video, we'll explore why that was the case, and we'll be looking at factors like geography, native resistance, and issues within the Roman Empire. So, why couldn't the Romans conquer Scotland? Let's find out. Many explanations have been proposed to explain why the Romans could only hold their power in northern Britain for 80 years. These include the fierce resistance of the Caledonian people and the difficult mountain terrain that made it hard to navigate. Undoubtedly, the Imperial Roman army strengthened in Scotland when Agricola dispatched a survey fleet in 79 AD. Then 83 AD saw their greatest success, the Battle of Mons Grapius, now known as the Grampian Mountains, with 10,000 Caledonians dying at the hands of a smaller Roman legion of around 30,000 men. It was a clear demonstration of their organization and might. Agricola returned to Rome in triumph and was honored for his accomplishments. However, the victory did not make Roman power permanent in Caledonia. Around the same time, a large number of troops moved out. The Romans were dealt two major blows in 85 and 86 AD after their success at Mons Grapius. They lost battles along the Danube in the Dacian Kingdom, now known as Transylvania. The man who liberated thousands in the Hebrides Island. The Romans left the Cheviots, a set of hills between Scotland and England and return to the spot they had occupied 12 years ago. Soldiers then move eastward. Several forts from Strakathro and Angus to Broomholm and Drumlinrig in the south remained garrisoned, as forces went to fight in the Dacian War in 103. Some believe the decision to remove resources from Scotland was based on a last-in, first-out basis. However, other reasons have been discussed for a long time. According to David Brees in his book Roman Scotland, Frontier Country, the Caledonians were known for their courage and strength. Dio, a Roman statesman, admired their tenacity during the two-year battle, calling them fearsome and dangerous. Rome's ambitions to rule the world The ancient Roman Empire was an expansionist power that sought to control much of Europe and the Mediterranean. And so, Romans firmly believed they had the right to rule the entire world. The Romans found it difficult to control Caledonia's native population and set up their own system of government and currency. There was also a lack of manufacturing of products like pottery and metalwork, and the Caledonians could put up a strong fight against the Roman army. There were likely kings in place who had their societies structured in a way that could feed and sustain themselves. They were well equipped to face the challenge they had been presented with. This shows that the Caledonians were brave and determined in the face of adversity. They had the strength to take on one of the most powerful empires in history. Their resourcefulness and resilience cannot be underestimated. However, Britain's position at the edge of the known world didn't do them any favors. David Breeze said, if tribes weren't so eager for battle, if the mountains weren't so tall, if there wasn't such a lack of economic benefit and geographical and social obstacles weren't so hard to overcome, then Rome might have won. The Antonine Wall stretched from the Firth of Forth to the Firth of Clyde serving as the northernmost boundary for Roman troops. It was abandoned in approximately 165 AD, and the soldiers returned to guarding Hadrian's Wall, which is about 100 miles to the south. Many items, such as altars and weapons, were hidden in pits and thrown into wells to mark their departure. Now, let's delve into some of the major reasons why Rome was unable to conquer Scotland. The Hostile Environments of Scotland The Romans were renowned for their innovation and creativity. They developed complex road networks, aqueducts to bring water into cities, sophisticated irrigation systems, and even a postal system. However, despite their advanced engineering capabilities and proficiency in warfare, the Romans could not conquer Scotland due to its rugged terrain, harsh climate, and fierce resistance from the native population. The Romans' conquer of Scotland highlights their limitations in dealing with more hostile environments. Scotland Army War Tactics Highlands and mountains made it difficult for the Romans to march in formation, a tactic they heavily relied on. Furthermore, the Scots were adept at hiding in the mountains and launching surprise attacks on Roman troops. Their use of small-scale raids redirected the Romans' attention away from larger ones. Additionally, Scotland's terrain was often muddy and wet, making it difficult for Roman armies to maneuver effectively. The Caledonians used guerrilla tactics to their advantage, exploiting the weaknesses of disciplined Roman fighters. The use of guerrilla warfare by the Scots hampered Rome's ability to capture land and gain control over the region. These tactics proved to be successful in battle. The terrain in northern Caledonia is mountainous, 
which may make it seem difficult to conquer. However, Breeze notes say that the peaks are not higher than those found in other regions of the empire, for example, in Spain or the Alps. The Romans found that Scotland was no longer worth defending, and so had to put their energy into other battles. According to David Breeze, it is unlikely that Rome would have gained much financially from its conquest of Scotland. Scotland did not offer a great deal in terms of resources like minerals or crops. Geographical and Cultural Barriers The Romans could not conquer Scotland due to the geographical and cultural barriers between them. Ancient Rome was located in the Mediterranean region, far from Scotland's rugged hills and glens. The terrain made it difficult for Roman soldiers to traverse, and they did not have the engineering know-how or resources to build roads or bridges in the area. The cultural differences between the two peoples were also a factor. The Celts of Scotland had their own distinct language, customs, and traditions, making them difficult for Rome to control. The Roman Empire could not effectively govern remote areas, leading Scotland to its lasting independence. Numerical Disadvantage Although Roman forces outnumbered those of Scotland, they were spread out over a large area and thus could not concentrate on one single target. This allowed the Scots to pick off isolated Roman divisions and evade larger armies by retreating to the highlands. The mountainous terrain also made it difficult for Roman troops and siege machines to move around, thus hampering their effectiveness in battle. In addition, Scotland's frequent use of guerrilla tactics further hampered Rome's attempts at taking over the country. Lack of support Rome was a highly urbanized society and lacked both the manpower and resources to sustain an extended campaign in Scotland. In addition, the Romans were used to fighting in open terrain, which they largely did not have access to in Scotland. This made them vulnerable to attack in the forests and highlands of Scotland, where they had little knowledge of the terrain or local resources. Additionally, Rome's support systems could not sustain a prolonged campaign due to the difficulty of resupplying troops across such long distances. The logistics of supplying a large army over vast distances would have been too costly and difficult to manage, which further contributed to Rome's inability to conquer Scotland. Rome's Decline by the time Rome attempted to conquer Scotland, its empire had already begun to decline. This led to a decrease in resources, morale, and manpower, making them less capable of conquering Scotland than they would have been earlier. As a result, their efforts were unsuccessful, and Scotland was eventually able to become a fully independent state. Rome's weakened position meant it could no longer dominate much of Europe, as it once did, and its influence in the region waned. Consequently, when Scotland resisted Roman rule, they could not be overruled by force and had to settle on a more diplomatic solution. This eventually allowed Scotland to gain independence and become the fully sovereign nation it is today. The failure of Rome to conquer Scotland was an important step in its eventual decline. As Rome's power faded, so did its ability to govern distant lands, which paved the way for new powers such as England, France, and Scotland to emerge as independent states. It was a critical turning point in European history, marking the end of the Roman Empire's dominance and allowing for the creation of new nations on the continent. Overall, Rome's failure to conquer Scotland played an important role in its decline. By weakening its position, it opened up opportunities for other powers to emerge and gain a foothold in Europe, eventually allowing Scotland to become an independent nation as we see it today. Thanks for watching the video and learning about why the Romans couldn't conquer Scotland. We hope you found this explanation interesting and informative. Make sure to like, subscribe and leave us feedback in the comments below, so we can continue bringing the best educational content on YouTube. Until next time.